So one of the most popular use cases of the Click Data integration platform is automating the creation of a model-driven data warehouse and enabling it to receive data updates using near real-time change data capture. So let's just say I'm a healthcare provider trying to deploy a data warehouse in Amazon Redshift that will analyze relationships between the outcomes and length of hospital stay when surgical procedures are performed. The automated data pipeline begins with Click Replicate. We will use Click Replicate to move the data from our SQL Server source system, which will provide information to the warehouse, and set up change data capture so the data will continue to be updated in near real time. With Click Replicate, all that's required is to define an endpoint connection to the source SQL Server and one to the target, Amazon Redshift. Instead of complex coding, you just set up a task using the Click Replicate wizard to select those endpoints, choose the tables to be replicated, define any optional filtering or transformations that might be required, and then start the task. When the task is started, Click Replicate will begin to move the data from SQL Server to the warehouse landing zone in Redshift. Click Replicate will move into a monitor tab that shows a full load progress. We just replicated the data from SQL Server to Redshift with a task that could be created in a couple minutes instead of spending days or weeks like in other ETL tools that require coding lines and lines of script. Now we move to Click Compose, where we automate the build of the data warehouse on Amazon Redshift using the data provided by Click Replicate in a logical model of the healthcare payer domain. We'll use a source system schema to generate the warehouse model, which is what most of our customers do. It can also be defined directly in Compose or imported from a modeling tool like Erwin. Acting as a warehouse architect, I've picked the entities I want to be part of the warehouse and allow Click Compose to generate the warehouse model. The model can be developed iteratively adding new data entities and sources as needed, and Click Compose will know how to alter and add entities as necessary. From our source system, we have a pretty clear picture of what's being represented. Surgeries and the equipment used in them are transactional elements that have extra detailed relationships. The surgeries themselves are linked to the patients and physicians, as well as some procedure reference details such as admissions, discharges, and procedure types. Additional attributes and relationships can be added in Click Compose. When we have deployed the model, we will see that Click Compose has created the physical tables of a Data Vault style data warehouse. Click Compose has created two ETL sets, one for the full load and one for processing change data capture from Replicate. These ETL sets define mappings from the landing zone populated by Click Replicate to the staging table for each Click Compose model object. If we open up one of the mappings, we can see that the mappings are largely complete. Additional lookups and expression based transformations can also be added. Once the mappings are finalized, the set-based code to load and transform the data is generated automatically. Generating the code for data integration mappings using ETL tools is the single most time-consuming task in the warehouse project, often consuming upwards of 75% of the total project timeline, and we've accomplished this in a matter of minutes. With the initial data load kicked off, Click Compose brings us to a monitor where we can watch the process of populating the data vault take place. With data loaded into our data warehouse, we're ready to address some specific analytical requirements by creating tailored data marts. Defining data marts is easy in Click Compose. The process is driven by a wizard that understands the model and walks you through every step. This is something a business analyst could do without involving the data integration developers or warehouse architects, giving the business much more agility. In this case, the business analyst is going to choose a granular fact type for the MART and select the specific transactional entities from the warehouse that will become a fact. Because the wizard knows the Click Compose model, it will select the appropriate hierarchies and flatten them into dimensions, again, without writing any code. Using the wizard, I've defined my MART after selecting my fact, dimensions, and transaction date. With the MART defined, we can add additional metrics. In this case, we'll add a metric to calculate the length of stay for patients who underwent surgical procedures and use it to analyze the medical procedures against patient outcomes. I can build, parse, and even test my expression in the straightforward wizard. With the data mark tables deployed and set-based code to flatten and transform the data into a star schema written automatically, the data mark is ready for execution. You've just seen the Click Data Integration Pipeline in action. And I hope you can see how easy it is to get data moving into a cloud-based data warehouse and automate the data warehouse build so we can store meaningful analytics-ready data, all with no coding required. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.